Thank you. Welcome to Humboldt. <sighs> Welcome. Well, I, I had a rough re weekend, and, but this morning I woke up with a lot of downloads, and, I, and just for two hours I was just lifted out of myself, and it was good. And then Emily came in, and the way it works for us is if I'm up, she's down, and vice versa. So of course, I, was, I had a, a pretty dark weekend, and then Emily was actually lifted out of pain all weekend, and then this morning she came into my room and clearly was not good. And I said, well, I am now, so I'm, I'm going to do my show. You don't even have to come with me. I'll, I'm fine. I've got the whole download. <coughs> and then um, she laid down in the bed next to me, and we, went to, we were just going to listen to a talk until it was time for me to leave. And we started talking, and she said something. I'm like, ooh, that's good, and I started to write it down. Maybe I'll take that on the show. And she said, am I supposed to come? And I'm like, oh, I had a prayer out to make it really obvious if you were to come because I do feel, yeah, I have a little fear because it was such an intense weekend. And um, so she came, we got ready to come, and then right before it was time to leave, she said, should we do a song? And I said, no, no, I'm not ready for that. And then I stopped and I went, wait a minute, let's just try it. And so we have a song as well. But what brings us here today, instead of what I originally had wanted to talk about, the reason why the whole show changed, and Emily is on the show now, is because we have something to share with you, because it's what's happening now. So we were given an assignment um, as each other's primary relationship, and we took that as far as we thought we could, and had a lot of healing, and then had a bit of a disruption a hump to, to kind of overcome, and we did. But when we came back together, it, it, it didn't feel quite as close. Like I had put up barriers, and um, I feel like the trust had left me to some extent, even though I showed back up. But we heard that we had to go deeper and also that no one else was going to be able to help us except each other. And I don't think either one of us liked that. Um, I don't think we bought it, actually. We didn't buy it at all. And so today we, we get it. <laughs> so here we are, um, trying to accept what is given in a full yes, and I believe we we both have this weekend. Yeah, it's been actually really, really powerful because um, I think Ricky and I, although on the surface, it could even seem like we're opposites, like personality-wise, we're very different. And yet, all along, the healing we've been going through is so similar. It's like we have the same core issues, going through them at the same time. Like even for both of us, coming out of uh, like relationships within a few weeks of each other, we didn't even see that coming. And um, there's, but together we don't have this feeling of like. Um, like hierarchy, there's like an equality. And I think that that allows actually for us to be able to be very real with each other. But as Ricky was saying, we, we thought we had accepted the assignments. And I think we had to a certain extent, but it's like it went into the background again. And the other day, um, Ricky was just going through a lot of intensity. And I kind of woke up with this prayer of like, I. I need to go deeper, and I, I don't know how, and I can see how I had been trying still, to a large extent, to do it myself, um, to whether it was just like doing the lessons by myself, or like my morning practice, it was just like me 
reading or or doing the lesson and it was I, I just felt like I wasn't having the heart opening that I really was desiring and now it's been I think Ricky and I have come into actually an, an acknowledgement that we can't do this alone and we were even exploring okay well what does that look like in form like we don't even know and we're like okay do we share a room do we move into rooms beside each other like we don't know how it's supposed to to look but just actually accepting the relationship having the full yes both of us having the full yes and going towards each other it's like the spirit will be the how and um and i think it's kind of been a milestone for us now because we see that it's our way out. There's still, we were, we were laughing about this actually this morning. It's like the spirit is really going to have to convince us how we, it, being together is going to give us everything because there's still an idea that specialness offers something, I think. And we don't really have that with each other. There's not like, I don't have a need that my assignment is with Ricky and she doesn't have a need that it's with me. In fact, it's maybe more the opposite because with our different personalities it actually can bring up a lot but um mm -hmm. it's and then at the same time there's actually a deep knowing that's where the full yes comes from there's a deep knowing that actually if we give ourselves a hundred percent to this and to each other that there's going to be a huge miracle not just at the end but the whole way throughout and it's something's exciting about the spirit showing us how and the spirit revealing that to us because I was just saying to Ricky as well that I just started seeing over the last few days that I don't feel like I've ever fully <coughs> given my mind to somebody like fully and I think that that's what's scary about this like what we're being called into together is a merge of minds and to the ego that's very scary and I think that that's why there's always been this desire maybe to okay I'll give this much but this much I'm still going to keep like wanting to still try it on my own but it's because I actually want to hold on to separation I want to hold on to who I believe that I am and what's really inspiring about this is that we're actually saying no we don't want that anymore and, and we're actually willing to do whatever it takes I think we're going to pull a mattress into Ricky's room <laughs> today even just to see like okay if is is that helpful and we're not attached to how it looks but it's like we will do whatever it takes to have the past heal from our minds and to come into a a love that that is beyond us actually and and I think we've been experiencing that just in glimpses when we come together the fear seems to to dissolve yeah. and the peace comes into our minds it's bizarre yeah yes this morning I you know I yeah, I just heard, you know, you're going to have to give, again, all your relationships over to me. Jesus is saying, you have to give them to me. And I'm like, what relationships? They're gone. I don't have any. It's all new. And I, I was thinking, like, I'm going to visit my family for Christmas. And I haven't been home in five years. I've seen my mother while I'm touring because she lives in Georgia and it's close to the Peace House. But as far as my dad, my sister, my brother, my nephew, a brand new baby nephew, I'm not attached to that family dynamic anymore. I don't even know what it is anymore. I don't know why Spirit's sending me home for Christmas. And um, so those relationships I've become unattached to and I've just let go of a partnership relationship for five years. So I'm starting fresh. And I have the school and I have those relationships and I do give those over to spirit. And I have Emily and I've never given that over to spirit. But, but it was just a re, yeah, a, a, a reboot of the mind. I, I have all those relationships that I've given over to spirit in the past. I have all the relationships in my present moment. And I give you any future relationships that you would bring to me for the healing of my mind. But I don't even need to think of that because whatever is in front of me right now is what's given for the healing of my mind. And the, the fact is that I've said yes, but we can only say yes where we're at. That yes is all we can give and it's beautiful. And yet this morning, me and it, well, no, over the weekend, Emily and I saw that we hadn't given a full yes, but we gave everything we could at the time. The thing is that we don't know how each other is going to bring us out of, you know, for me, I've, I've looked back and seen a lifetime of need 
that I've had for something outside of myself. And I know it has nothing to do with the present circumstances, and yet I just want to be grateful for the present circumstances that are offering me to go there again. I feel for the biggest healing I've ever experienced. I can actually feel that all this is what I want. But there's such a fear. I can even see, I was telling Emily, there's even a fear to give up the pain. And yet, when you walk in the room, even if I'm stomping and screaming, fuck this life, She can't buy it, she laughs, and I start laughing. Because I can't actually buy the character. I just had a lot of anger come up this weekend, and I, so I I was watching myself curse and (laughs) scream a little bit, because I, you know, I stopped doing that, because I don't do that anymore, which is crap. But I thought that I had, I thought that I, I was now a spiritual person who had washed all that rebellion and yet I was stomping around my room like this is fucking bullshit you know (laughs) and she just starts cracking up and I'm like why don't you see can't you understand and she's like nope and we just realized what a good thing that was because we can't buy each other's we can't we don't actually we see each other as healed and we know that we can overcome like we just know that that's just a fact so but it just seems almost impossible to, to think that, that, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have to be sorry because I've said it to Emily like 10 times this morning. I don't really understand how you can be the answer to everything I've just let go of. But even as I say it, I know it's a freaking fact. Because, yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah, this weekend we went to the hot pools and out to dinner and I, I shared things with her, and afterwards, the next day, I was like, how'd you do with what I just... I'm having a little bit of, like, regret for everything I just said. And she's like, oh, I hadn't had, a, I hadn't had another thought of it since. And I was like, oh, good, Cause, because now I can finally um, say everything without feeling like I did something wrong. And that is a huge gift in itself. Um, so, yeah, we spent the weekend just kind of hearing that, wow, no one's going to be able to help us but each other, no one, not because Emily and Ricky are together, it's because it's Spirit's plan and we finally got it, we were like, shit. So, I mean, I'm in a room with a king size bed, so we even said, okay, we'll sleep in the same bed. And I'm like, look, man, I'm going through menopause. I'm sweating. I'm like freaking out. I don't know about that. So I'm open, but like, oh my God. That's how willing we are at the moment. This is very Really? Weird. I'm like, really? I'm going to have to fall in love with Emily? Okay. And what's, what's, I'm sweaty. what's great as well is that, like, what Ricky was sharing there about, you know, the anger coming up or just the intensity, like, in that moment, I can actually just see the perfection of it. I see that this is a step that has to be gone through for it to be released. And I'm just, it's actually, like, just beautiful to be with you in it. And yeah. when you're in it, you can't see that. You think something's going wrong. You think, oh, I'm going backwards or it shouldn't be happening or this means something. And... So what, what's so great is that whatever Ricky has been going through the last few days is my healing too. And other days I'll be going through the exact same thing and Ricky won't be able to believe it. So not only is it helpful that we can hold the space for each other and not buy into it, but there's another element to it and that is being on the other side of witnessing the same thoughts that you've had and the same intensity that you've had. And when you're in it, you think that it is, there's no way this couldn't be true. I'm so stuck in this. This, I, I, I don't see how it's possible that this is just a belief. But being removed from that and witnessing it is, for me anyway, has been very, very powerful. And even thinking, wow, when I have my next round of this, I want to remember how I'm witnessing it now from the outside. That's beautiful, Emily. And it's really important. Like I really like to share with you guys the, the reality of what, what happens with me and my president experience as much as I can and and keep the context really clear. But I have to say, I do understand what's happening. And I asked for everything. And I know Emily is the answer. And whatever is raging right now, you know, I really am not 
most of the time not buying that it's me, but Emily has just reminded me that, that I have permission to relax and actually just let, let all the thoughts and feelings come up, which I, I really didn't want to do. I've been holding it together for quite a long time because I want to be strong and in my certainty. But what I realized recently, as some of you may have seen on one of my shows, that I, I wasn't in control and that, that freaked me out a little bit, but it's not freaking me out anymore. It, it's just a since um, weeks have passed by, it's more and more of a, like, seeing that I want control, that I don't have it, and a surrendering to that, and then coming to a place of relaxation that I'm not in control, um, and how simple it is when I just... F so what I heard this morning was following the, um, the guidance was the answer. So we give our relationships back to Jesus, let, he, let him be in charge, and our way out of um, this thought system, the illusion of the world we made, what we think we want, the way out is, is the guidance and following it. And the guidance has been to go towards Emily. And yet we've been in our rooms praying and reading and trying to get through our own things or going on walks alone, coming together, yes, but not just like we even thought maybe it's our school, maybe it's our, of course it, we just have to start that way. Maybe we move in together everything is one and there's so much happening in our ministry that we, we, we can't be everywhere at the same time. We're going to have to, you know, separate at some point and give each other different functions. But just to have that commitment to come together and everything right now, um, I feel it so strongly in my bones that this is like, this is everything. And I, all, I had a glimpse this morning that I don't even have to be in pain anymore at all. And there was one idea, but don't I need to go fix this thought? What is, but it's, it's, you know, I'm telling you. So this is the voice that can't, cannot buy it in me. She's not believing that anything. And, I, and the same with me. Like, I don't get her pain and she doesn't get mine because we see a whole different scenario when we're looking. So it's, you know, I have this tendency to just like, I, I've been taken back through my, this lifetime, and I, I want to heal it all right now. There's no way I'm going to spend the next 50 years like that. It's been 50 years. So I'm trying to manage it, and I don't even see it. Like, I'm completely blind that I'm trying to heal myself. You know, because in the past, I was like, screw that. I'm just going to distract. Oh, and this was the beautiful part. Um, it got really intense for me this weekend, and I was like, screw that, <laughs> basically. And um, so a friend offered me to take some trips like throughout Mexico and then to Canada to do some gatherings and which is what I've asked for every time that I have intensity come up. I, I know I'm always going to go towards spirit uses me, but I knew it wasn't. Um, yeah, I always try to make it happen before it's time. It's, it's like a repeat pattern and it, and I, yeah, it was offered to me and I started to say, okay, so started to try to look at flights and I was just like, all this heaviness and fear came up and I was like, you know what? No thanks. Even offered to buy the tickets. I got points and I was like, okay, hey, can you stop talking about this? Cause it's, can I, I can't do this. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I have to, <laughs> Jesus has a plan. I'm not going to continue the cycle that I've played out for 49 years, there's no way I'm going to sit here and face it. I'm not going anywhere. I told you guys that. But then stuff comes up and it's like, I'm out of here. Screw this. This is not working. And it is. It's just that moment. This is, for some reason, this, this is the given answer. And it's not like, like I said, we really thought we were giving it to each other. So like even a more... I, I actually even asked Emily to listen to this talk I was listening to, and she reinterpreted the whole thing for me. I was like, holy, do you know what I, and I was like, okay, look, I'm not allowed to interpret We're not anymore. Doing anything alone I'm anymore. not allowed to <laughs> interpret anymore. Like for now, like even if it's just a test month, like, okay, move in. <laughs> we have to literally be each other's interpreters. And like Ricky said, you know, one of us is always the saner one. So it's like putting the trust in whoever it is, because it's not the person, it's the spirit. So it's, yeah, it's, and, and as well, just 
what I was thinking when you were talking about like the guidance. That's the only reason this works. This isn't about Ricky and Emily. This isn't about us. The only reason there's healing value in it is because it's guided and accepting that. And See, I felt like I needed her to come on the show when we started talking this morning because she was just, I have all these things. These, oh my God, and can you believe this? And she's like saying it in a graceful, detailed way. And I'm like, okay, come on, because this, <laughs> this is what's happening and you're saying it so gracefully. <laughs> it's like, we don't know literally what this is supposed to look like, but I, I could just see this morning that the only difficult part is saying yes, actually. That's where the resistance comes in because there's something that we feel we're going to lose if we fully say yes to the spirit, which is not true. Yeah. But we have to say yes so the spirit can convince us that, that that's not true. So we keep saying to each other, what's this supposed to look like? Look, we literally don't know. We're taking it step by step. One moment at a time, which is really cool, because we, like, really, when she said the song, I immediately said no. And when I heard it, I said no. I was like, what about playing, playing this song? I was like, it is way too late for that. I'm not even going to say that. And I was like, okay, I'll just say it. I said it. Ricky goes, no way. It's and then we said that. 30 seconds later, Ricky goes, okay, let's try the song. We tried the song. And I don't want to say it went great because now it's putting pressure on us to do it well. But in that moment, it was like whatever problems we thought were going to be there weren't there. And it's like, again, only the ego would want to have perfection in form. Oh, we can't do a song because... It's well, the whole not going to be perfect. It's a timeline problem. The whole thing, you know, there's so many things to think about in the healing, but the whole thing is like, you know, if we think about how we're going to heal this in the future, because we're stuck in the present because of the thoughts of the past that we've just let go of our lives, you know, that's the whole thing. Like, the only answer right now is to come into the moment, the present moment, and receive the guidance. What is it now? That's it. There's nothing else. Tell you right now, if I, got, if I went to the future last night, I wouldn't be on this show this morning. And I had an angel saying, don't even think about it until the morning. I don't know how I listened to that, but for the first time I didn't. And, but I was willing to do it on my own, and I was ready. And Emily came in because I didn't need anything from her. She was like, hmm, maybe I'm supposed to be on the show. So even in this relationship, my whole... My whole my whole lesson right now is that I don't need anything from anyone and yet whatever is given to accept it. And it's beautiful because I wouldn't go towards Emily for anything normally because we're such opposites. But I can feel that she's given. I can feel it, but it's just a deeper yes. And, and I give it my, my full yes. And we don't know what it's going to look like. We keep saying, I have no idea what this is going to look like. like but we're wide open. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking like the lesson for today it just felt so I lost the lesson for today Somebody <laughs> anyone prompt me you can do my will you want my it's will it's like my will and God's will is this like yeah. it's already I've already chosen God's will yeah and you've already chosen it and it was like we even like it's even a joke to think that we're saying yes we're going to take this on like it's done it's happening it's right. like we're just playing catch up with oh, okay this is it but you know really it's inevitable like this is inevitable and and yeah it's it's happening <laughs> yeah well will we do our song yeah she wants, she, Spirit gave her for us to do Quantum Love, and I was like, I can't even play that song on guitar unless I've practiced it. So um, when we practiced it, we knew the words were, were perfect. Yeah, it was literally ex everything we've been talking about. You even said, wow, I, I, I'm getting this song on a deeper level than I ever did before. <laughs> yeah, I did say that. <laughs> I want to shoot the bird, but I don't think you can do that on TV. See, I get to say all this stuff to her. It feels really good because she just laughs at me if I say, okay. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. You know, I had to do it. Somebody's clapping. Okay, good. Can I? Like, literally, she's on the ground hysterically laughing at me. Literally. So how can I not laugh? 
<laughs> I don't and think I, I've I ever wouldn't always, I wouldn't always recommend that because sometimes <laughs> that doesn't go well, but it's in, it seems to be involuntary and I just trust because the spirit has brought us together. When I do that, it's the spirit and it's helpful and it has seemed to work, but I'm not recommending when people are like pouring out their hearts that you burst into laughter. It's not always, it's not always the right form. But. Well, I actually don't <laughs> buy what's coming out of my mouth, so can we... Okay. <laughs> I don't want to forget to look at you. <laughs> Very important. <sighs> By Jesus. In. Love's beyond romantic. This love cannot be contained. It's bigger than the two of us. Dissolves walls and breaks the chains. The past cannot stand in it. The future disappears from view. When we surrender and let go the me and you It's all we wanted It's who Christ control The only way to handle this is surrender all we know the good, the bad, the right, the wrong and just simply let go into the vastness that we are into the love that holds us safe the soft surrender the open-hearted space It's all we wanted It's who we are Heartbreaking, wide open Under Christ control Under Christ Control Daring to let it in <laughs> Daring to let it be Daring to allow To be given everything It's quantum physics, baby. Love radiates undefined. 
it's all inclusive. One love, one heart, one mind. It's all we wanted. Quantum love, it's who we are. Heartbreaking, wide open. Under Christ control. Under Christ control.